Hi guys, Chris here from A's and Ultimatum bringing you day 5 of the 30 day challenge and today we are going to go through how to verify a niche now you don't have to do this part if you've been through day 3 and day 4 which I believe day 3 talked about um, niche selection as well as day 4 and if you've got your niches and you've sent them through to me, support at azondominator.com, I will get back to you. In fact, it's on my special to-do list to do today. And just get back to some of you I haven't got back to you yet about your niche selections and give you my advice on them. Um, the main thing with this whole thing with the 30-day challenge is don't worry about it not being perfect. Um, don't worry about obviously you want to go through the steps and you want to make sure that you as much as possible you've got a good niche but don't let it hold you back and, and what I mean by that is a lot of people a lot of my clients and a lot of people I've spoken to through support on email have, have actually said oh, I don't know which niche to pick and should I go for this or shouldn't I and you know what, the, the truth is, as long as you've got a good niche, as long as it checks out in the reviews department, as long as it's selling, as, which is sort of checking it out on the reviews, we know it's selling, and then you check the keywords and there's people searching for the keywords, you have to get the site up and out there because a lot of it will be down to where you rank, not just on Google, but you've got Bing and Yahoo. And the thing that you've got with this system, if you've got the A's on Kickstart system, is a guaranteed way of actually how you rank a site and the reason I can say guaranteed is because we're following exactly the same as Matt Cutts and if, if you'll see I will talk more about in this challenge and for those of you that are going to join me in A's on Ultimatum I will go into more technical stuff with SEO so if you're watching through this or if you've watched through Kickstart and you're sort of thinking well I like it Chris but you don't go really in depth about S uh, SEO I will be doing um, that's one of the things I'm going to do for A's on Ultimatum we are exp explore LSI keywords and silo sites and lots of different things and the difference between backlinks and internal links and how many you should have the only reason I haven't isn't because I can't talk about it but I find the stuff bogs people down and I'll tell you why again back to I know I'm going in circles here but back to getting the sites out when that's the main thing that you've got to be doing you'll know yourself I know there's probably some of you that are watching this video and the SEO is just like there's so much stuff about it and I'll tell you the problem with SEO and this is just my interpretation having done this stuff for over 10 years when you get a grasp of it it changes <laughs> which sounds almost like a cruel joke you get a grasp of it you sort of understand right I've got an SEO plan now and then another update will happen and people's sites will start dropping off the cliff and everyone is sort of, oh no, what shall I do? When in actual fact, what you've got with this system is you're not doing anything wrong, so that ticks the box. It's hard work because you're doing the content creation, but the cool thing is you're not doing anything wrong in Google's eyes because all you're doing is providing quality content, linking through to quality content. So that is, I mean, it really, really works well with, with Google and getting a site ranked, as you can see. And I'm going to show you some stuff today, not about SEO, but we will be covering that. I'm going to show you some stuff on um, basically how to verify a niche. If you're at the niche picking stage and you're really wanting to check that the niche is going to do well for you, I'm going to run through it. I'll run through it quite quickly because I, you know, I know I'm in the habit of making these videos long. It's because I've got so much to tell you, so so much to tell you about how this stuff works, and you know I could make it just go straight through, but I'm trying to give you as much information as I can. On that note, the Mammoth Site Building Service. I opened up those extra spots. There is one left. I know it says three on here. I've got to update the page, but there's one spot left. If you want that spot and all of the bonuses, the A's on Automaton bonus, and also you will get, instead of 12 sites, you will get 14 done for you sites. So you're getting two extra sites. And what I'm going to do for the last spot to make it more interesting, you will get 15 sites. So that's, that's literally the most I can do. I'll tell you why. Look, I'll show you. 
Here it is, 849 for 12 sites. Um, five pages on a site, it works out as $70 a site. Um, so I'm offering 15 at the same price. So you're getting three sites, which is actually $380. That's how much that's how much free sites cost when I sell the site building services, just free sites, $380, and you're getting them for free with the uh, with the 12 site pack. So you get 15 sites for the final spot. So once this is gone, the page has gone down. If you're underneath this video, you'll see a link to go through to this page. It will still load, but when you go here, click here to add to cart. It will load up in a bit. Here we go. Um, that's what you'll see if the spot's still available. If it's not available, all that will happen is you'll click on this click here to add to cart and nothing will happen because I, I would have taken the link off. The page will still load so you can watch the video, but do be quick with this. One spot left, 15 sites um, with five pages of content on each one and you get all the bonuses. You get access to Azon Ultimatum. You get access to the paid webinar and you also get access to Azon Kickstart and an hour Skype call with me. So if you want me to do all this stuff I'm sort of teaching you or if you're following through the 30 day challenge and you're going to give it a good go but you want a real head start and you want 12 sites built for you um, grab this last spot and get 15 built for you and all of the bonuses. Okay, so grab that and uh, I will be in contact today to that the, the last spot. Um, so back to Amazon here. Here we're looking at pressure washers. I'm going to I sort of pick pressure washers because one, it's a good niche. Two, it's sort of summery, um, or people start thinking about gardens and sort of uh, spring cleaning a bit a bit after spring. But pressure washers are really good for the car and so on. I'm going to show you how you verify a niche. Now you can use this for any niche. I've just picked pressure washers just because. Um, but you can use it for any niche. So to quickly, I won't make the video too long, but to quickly touch on what we have done, as a recap, we can tell that these are selling well 21 hours ago, 12 hours ago, and so on. So how would we verify that this is a good niche before we get a domain name and hosting? How would we actually verify? One way of doing that is Google Trends. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, pressure washers, we go to Google Trends which is google.com forward slash trends and type in pressure washers and what it will do is it will give you a sliding scale of all the searches okay um, and you can see how popular the searches are and so on but another thing that really it really is interesting in actual fact regional interest in pressure washers in the United Kingdom here in the UK is very high so what you could do another idea for you is buy a .co.uk domain name, follow the course exactly the same if you've got A's on Kickstart or this 30 day um, challenge course and you could do pressure washers and you could link to the Amazon.co.uk for the pressure washers since it tends to be quite popular. Um, but just to show you, related searches and we've got like the top searches, pressure washer, pressure washers Karcher, which is obviously a make. But one that's come up as well is power washers, home pressure wash washers. So that's how you verify a niche. And what you're doing is you're picking out some juicy keywords. I'm also going to show you a way. You can see which is rising, like plus 400%. That's because of the summer. Pressure washer parts. I mean, I don't think you'll do much with that because we're not looking to send them. To you could probably do an article on it, though, to get them through to Amazon. Water pressure parts, pressure washers review. So really, really good. And that's you just have a look at the search terms and what's popular. You're looking out for best pressure washers, stuff like that. And also Karcher is a make of pressure washers. So if we go here and we go back, we will see, I'm sure there's a Karcher one here. Sun J, it looks like the Sun J, here we go, Karcher X series. So you would, might want to focus on the Karcher ones to get ranked. Um, another thing you can do is the Google AdWords keyword tool. And I'm going to show you something a bit different today. So firstly, what you do is you would verify that you've got a good niche by typing in your main seed keyword. And there's a sort of like weird technical term. What you want is your or your parent keyword, and that will be pressure washers. Starting at the top and then going down, so Karcher pressure washers, 
um, and you would go down like that. So I'll show you what I mean. If I type in general pressure washers, let's just see, get ideas. I know what it's doing, one second. Let me get this right. It's because I've got something else to show you. Um, let me see. Back to the keyword planner here. Bear with me. Um, search for new keyword and add group ideas and then I type in pressure washer. Because I've got something else to show you in just a minute. So I type in pressure washer and get ideas. And this is one way you can do it. And it will bring up all the ideas and you can see the searches have gone up really, really good niche. You can see the Karcher keywords, 22,280. This is in, in the United States. Um, washer reviews, pressure washer reviews, and so on. Okay, so you can pick out. What you want them to do, obviously, is if you're going to do this niche, is you'd use the main pressure washers and look at the reviews. I mean, that's the best seller, so you'd start there. And then look at the reviews and so on and get three or four or five. So you don't have to do a five page site. You could do a 20 page site and it would be better. But I recommend at the very least five. So let's stick with that. You get three or four reviews and then you'd get two to start off with relevant key phrases. Like pressure washer reviews, electric pressure washer reviews, stuff like that. Okay, I'm going to show you another thing that you can do. This site is... Let me just go back for you to show you what how I got there. So what, another way you can verify a niche, and this is, I hope you've got a pen and paper. I know I keep saying that throughout the course. It will just help you remember all this stuff. So when you type in best pressure washers, you get all the information that comes up in this instance. No matter what niche you're in, you type in best pressure washers or pressure washer reviews or anything. And all you're looking for to keep things simple is if any review sites are ranking and what that means is you know how we're building the sites the Amazon kickstart method if review sites are ranking that means you can too and you're not looking to take anyone over or get the first page of Google because what happens when you put stack counter on the site which I'll talk about in the 30 day course you will actually be able to see exactly which terms people are typing in to find you and you'll find you get ranked for all sorts of terms um, in actual fact with the site building service if you want the last spot I will put stack counter on for you just for that final spot the reason I don't for everyone is one I show you how to do it so it's fairly simple and two because it's a bit of a pain because you have to set up an account and go back but for the final spot I'll put stack counter on there for you as well for 15 sites um, but yeah as long as you know where people are are coming from what they're typing in and you can see here that there are pressure washer review sites ranking I've had a look at them so if we go to pressure washer critics just to show you that's ranking one two three and there's also pressure clean reviews okay so pressure washer critics and just really quickly while we're here I'll show you this is ranked number three in Google for pressure washer reviews was it pressure washer reviews I typed in no, it's best pressure washers, okay, but you can be sure there's a lot of people typing that in. And this is rank number three. So if we go to the site, first thing I want to show you is the SEO, okay? Um, exactly the same as what, what we're doing um, in the Amazon Kickstart courses. You've got your product reviews, you've got relevant key phrases, and you've got relevant content that links through to relevant content you can check out our buying guide if I click there it will go through to a buying guide on the site tips and tricks it will go through to tips and tricks and you click here and it will go through to reviews of these particular pressure washers so really it doesn't really matter that much how you format the site if you want to go I wouldn't suggest it if you knew but if you want to use like a different sort of layout there's no reason why you can't um, but anyway, this is what I want to show you. So this site is ranking well. Let's head back to the Google AdWords keyword tool. What you can do, if I go to, I'll just go back to tools at the top here. You won't see this, but I'm just going back to the keyword planner. Okay, uh, I am going to search for new keyword and ad group ideas. But I'm going to put the landing page of this site. So what I'm going to do is just paste in the name of the site there get ideas and what that's done 
is taken his site and looked at all the all the content on the site and given you an overview of the best keywords and that gives you a whole keyword list of ones that you can rank and what you can also do is by looking at the suggested bid we're getting a bit more technical here okay but bear with me write this down to get the high value keywords um, right here's the best way when you're and, and bear in mind if you're new don't worry because I'll go through stuff and you're welcome to ask questions in the video below make sure you're subscribed to this channel as well so you see new videos here's the thing on the on the right hand side you see where this suggested bid is this is how much you would pay if you were going to set up an AdWord and to explain it I'm using the Google AdWords keyword tool and of course Google or, or the Google AdWords keyword tool people use that when they're setting up a pay-per-click ad so they would set it up and we'd have pressure washers we, we would be a shop that sells pressure washers and we'd set it up and we would put all our makes down like best pressure washer AR363 pressure washer and all our stock and we every time someone clicks on our ad we pay we can tell if someone's paying a lot per click like three uh, three point one seven three just over three dollars per click we can tell it's a profitable keyword because they wouldn't be paying that much per click there'll be a lot of competition but the, the beauty of it is we're not worried about competition because we're doing it through SEO so if we check out these top rated ones and all I did was click on that suggested bid so these are the cheapest and this is the most expensive and if I go to the most expensive ad group these are the pressure washer cleaning how to clean pressure washer pump easy clean pressure washers easy clean pressure washer and so on power so you get in the top the, the top sort of keywords and you can look through it you don't need the very top ones you can look through it from the bottom washer use pressure washer use pressure washer pressure <laughs> we're a bit of a tongue, twist, tongue twister but there you go um, and you go down through the list and you've got a whole load of keywords that you can you can use when you're building your sites and the other thing you can do is if we go back to this site when I type in best pressure washers down at the bottom of Google you've got searches related to best pressure washers and what you want to do here's a little trick when you build your site and when you use the keyword best pressure washers okay so you write your content best pressure washers today we're going to tell you about the best pressure washers top of the top of the pile is this one um, the reason we've picked this at the top is because you get all the accessories with it the price is brilliant it's very powerful it's an electric pressure washer you can use it all year round you can use it for the patio you can use it for the car it's getting brilliant customer reviews you get the idea so you go on and on and that's your content on best pressure washers you do that for each of the product reviews on your site and here's the thing you want to then write another page of content which says best pressure washers for the money okay and link the two pages together and what I mean by link them so you start another one best pressure washers for the money last week or yesterday we had a look at the best pressure washers on the site today we want to give you our selection if you're not looking for masses of features but you're just looking to save money so this page will tell you about the best pressure washers for the money and you see what I'm doing there we're linking together keywords that Google finds relevant together in a page format which will help your site rank um, really quickly it's quite an advanced SEO technique um, I hope that video uh, you, you might want to watch it again if you can put up with me again a um, lot of information there you want to watch it with a pen and paper but use this stuff send me over your niches if you haven't already support at azondominator.com and if you're if it's all gone over your head and you're sort of thinking wow this is still really complicated let me build the sites for you I'll chuck in an hours uh, an hours worth of coaching there so we can meet up on Skype and go through them and make sure that you get this stuff and you're going to get 15 sites just for the final spot free access to Azon Ultimatum free coaching with Azon Ultimatum because it's a high ticket item free access to the webinar 
and you will get this stuff and I can spend the time with you it's one thing doing these videos it's another thing actually speaking on Skype getting to see your face getting to see mine having a conversation and breaking this stuff down till you get it don't keep jumping from something to you know next shiny object I know it's easy I've done it myself and I am still tempted to do it because you see so many products every single day do this I've just shown you I mean it works look at the sites ranking get one of these out there follow this 30 day challenge or just buy the sites let me do it for you and let's, let's make some money and I'm with, there with you we meet up we go through the coaching and I'll make sure that you get this stuff 15 sites five pages site and the coaching and all of the bonuses okay guys a long video but I hope you got something from it let me know if you've got any questions underneath this video make sure you're subscribed and kudos to everyone that's taking part in the 30 day challenge okay cheers